everybody, and with a lot of questions coming in lately about rivers and river stages, we decided to give a real quick uh, short video showing how you can access the river heights and forecast on our website. So, as always, go to your favorite uh, web browser and type in our address, which is weather.gov slash lix or New Orleans. Once you hit enter, it'll bring you to our webpage. Now, there are two different ways you can get to the rivers uh, page on our webpage. The first one is kind of at the top where you see rivers and lakes. And if you highlight that with your mouse and look under it, it's hydrology. You click there, and that would get you to what's our advanced hydrological prediction uh, services page. Otherwise, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom of our webpage. And in the middle, at the bottom, you'll see river stages and a graphic. Go ahead and click on that image. And that will now bring you to our Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Service page. And this is our webpage that shows all the rivers and uh, rain, the river gauges in our area of concern. Um, all the ones with circles are actually forecast points as well as a gauge and a current reading. And then you also have your diamonds and other areas which are just river gauges but there are no forecast points for. So real quickly, I'm going to show you some little features here. As you go over, say, Bogalusa on the Pearl River, if you just mouse over it, don't click on it, just mouse over it, it'll pull up the graph and show you what the river currently is and then what it's forecasted to be in the next five days. Most of our rivers will show the next five days if it's got one of those circles on there. However, the Mississippi River will actually have a little bit longer forecast. So if we were to mouse over Baton Rouge on the Mississippi River, you can see that it's actually about two weeks in there. And uh, looks like the Mississippi River now is forecast to get to 40 and a half feet by early March. So let's go back over to Bogalusa again on the Pearl River and we'll go ahead and click on that. And then I'll bring up the next page, which is focused just on the Pearl River at the Bogalusa Point. Your default image that you have will be the uh, default hydrograph. It'll show you our current reading, which is 21.06 on February 18th. And it is forecast over the next five days to get to 22.2 feet. You can also look at the default hydrograph. And if you were to do scale to flood categories, it'll kind of fix that uh, hydrograph to graphic and it will show you where our action stage is, where our minor, moderate, and major flood stage is. Now, some other little features on here that you can see is if you scroll down, you'll see a map, and it shows the general point of where that gauge is located. Also, you'll see to the left, you'll see what the flag flood categories are, along with historic crest, recent crest, and some low water records. And if you continue to scroll down the web page, you'll see what we call impact statements. Uh, some of these may need to be updated over time because the river channels are always changing, but these are the latest impact statements for Bogalusa on the Pearl River. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll get some actual gauge information and who, uh, who maintains the gauge, along with uh, the datums that the gauges have been uh, set at over, over time. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us. Uh, this was a quick rundown on how to view some of your river gauges in the southeast Louisiana along with southwest Mississippi and coastal Mississippi area. Thank you very much and y'all have a great day.